Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at the drawer inside Modblazer. The drawer is basically a menu over here where you can go and collapse it and open it again. In my last video that was a introduction to Blazor, uh, I set this up but in this video I want to dive a little bit more into the drawer so we can go and add some icons to the menu points and also go and add like a headline to the menu itself and just walk through some of the options that we have when we create a drawer inside mod blazer so if we just go back to the code i do have the mod drawer here where we make a bind open to this variable called drawer open which is going to say if the menu should be open or if it should be closed. We then go and display the nav menu, which is the file over here. And it's actually from in here, we have the mod nav link, where we can also go and add a icon to this mod nav link. So let's say to our first mod nav link that we want to make an icon that is a house, because that is a good reference to the home button. So first of all, we want to go and say icon. And the way we can find the icons is if we go to the modblazer.com website, we can go to the documentation. Then you can go to this features and then we have icon references. And then we can actually just go and search. So let's search for house. And I can see we have some different we can choose from. So let's just go and take this house. And when you click it, you can see it will open over in the right side here, where we can just go and copy this icon code. So just copy and go back to the code and paste it in. So let's go and open the website again and test if it's working. And we open the menu and now you can see we do have the icon here. So I'll just go and do it for the counter also. I want to go and find a calculator. So back at Mudblazer, we can go and say calculator. Calculate, I actually think it's called. And then we can go and copy that one also and put it in as an icon and you should actually be able to just hot reload this so click the hot reload button and then go back to the website and now you can see we do have the icon so the next step would be to above this menu to have like a little section where we can have like a text or we could have a logo so we need to go back to our main layout file and when you have a mod drawer you can actually go and make two containers inside. So the first container is a mod drawer header, which will go and represent the small section we have above our menu. And then we also have a mod drawer container. So it's actually where the menu is. So we can just go and take our nav menu and clip it and put it inside the mod drawer container. So inside our mod drawer header, we could go and create a mod text. And when we have a mod text, we want to go and specify what kind of HTML tag do we want to use to this mod text. So we could go and say typo and then say typo.h6. So it will be a headline six. And then we just need what the text have to say. So we could say application. And now when we go and test this, you can see we have the name application up here. So we can easily see that this is the mod drawer header and this is the mod draw container and just to demonstrate the h6 that we put on this application if we just go and make it an h1 which should be a much bigger uh, headline if we go and save it and say hot reload you can now see that we have a huge headline up here but i just want to go and set that back to h6 and another nice thing we can go and play around with on the drawer here is actually this shadow we have here and in Mudblazer, they call this shadow for like elevation. So basically how much do you want to elevate the drawer? And the way we set it is inside our mod drawer here. We can go and target the elevation and it will have a value from zero to 25. So let's go and say maybe 20 and let's see how it looks. Now you can see we have a much more shadow here and I'm really not quite sure why, but if you set it to 25, like this and you hot reload you can see it will almost disappear it will still be there but there may be a explanation for that because if you go into mudblazer's website here you can see inside the documentation in the features and then the elevation then you can go and see all the elevations here 
so all the elevation levels and you can see it will create more and more shadow the higher the number but when you hit 25 it will just go and vanish of some kind maybe it's because the shadow is spread so much that you can no longer see it so good but I, I really don't know why so 24 is maybe the highest that you can set if you want it to display as much as possible another thing we can go and take a look at is the anchor so we can go and say anchor and then we can say we want to target anchor dot right so what this will do is actually just go and take the whole mud drawer and put it at the right side of our website instead so if we just go and expand it here you can see it's now at the right side of our website but the default anchor is the left side just like we had it before here and a last thing i want to show you is just that the menu is actually also responsive so if we go and minimize this window you can see if we scale it down at this point then it will go and change the menu so that it would fit at a tablet or a phone and you can just go and click here at the side then it will go and minimize again and of course if we scale it up again you get the menu like we have it before there is still a lot of things you can go and do with the mud blazer drawer if you just go to the mud blazer documentations and then inside the components and drawer then you can actually go and check out all the options that you have so for example you can also go and open instead of open it at the left side here also called start then you also have a top so you could open it from the top of the application or the bottom of the application and you can also just go and see the code here so you can just go and copy and paste this code and go and test it out i hope you learned something about how the drawer is working and how you can set it up to your own needs i will go and try to make some videos about the other components over here also but thank you for watching and go and have a nice day bye